This tutorial will demonstrate how to integrate a thermal camera with Net2 to permit or deny access based on the user's temperature in order to support a COVID secure environment. Currently in the industry, thermal cameras are seeing a significant rise in demand directly due to the symptom associated with COVID-19 of a consistently raised temperature. It is very important to iterate at this point that thermal scanning alone does not address any of the government guidelines. However, by utilising thermal scanning in combination with access control, we are able to introduce an opportunity to further reduce risk in the workplace by denying access to people identifying with a heightened temperature that may put others at risk. By doing so, we help towards confirming all staff and visitors do not have a fever before entering the premises and protecting staff from infection. The way in which the integration would work would be the user presents their token the temperature is taken by the camera and access is permitted if in the acceptable range or denied if higher than the threshold that's set. The process takes less than a second and works in conjunction with Net2 access levels. Hike Vision, Dehur and an increasing number of solutions have been evaluated and are supported. If we use the example here of a research facility, we have a thermal scanner at the entry point within reception and one set up at the entrance to a specific laboratory room within the premises. The entrance is managed by a turnstile and upon the presentation of a valid token and a thermal scan under the threshold access is granted. By having a second scanning point we can identify if anyone develops symptoms whilst in the workplace. Should access be denied that individual can self-identify to the relevant people or department and be appropriately addressed and kept away from others to prevent the risk of passing of the virus. Ensure that the manufacturer's instructions are followed when installing the thermal scanner into the environment. In this example, the unit's mode of operation should be configured to token plus temperature and output a Wigan format. Hike Vision and Dehua readers can output the Wigan number in the Net2 token format when using a MyFair token, allowing the same card to be used across the site. The scanner will connect to the reader port of the Net2 Plus control unit using the Wigan D0, D1 and ground connections. A custom Wigan rule will need to be set up in the Net2 configuration utility. Under the Wigan tab, check Wigan configuration. A new custom 34-bit rule needs to be entered using 5Xs, 28As followed by 1X at the end. By creating this rule, the reader will use the required section of information to provide the same card number as other Net2 MyFair readers on the system. The custom format now needs to be applied to the control unit in the Net2 software. Click on Doors and select the relevant door. Set the reader type to Wigan Reader. Change the token data format to Wigan Custom. Amend the reader operating mode to token only and apply to save the settings. The thermal scanner is now ready to be used with Net2. You may wish to provide access denied event information back to the scanner to display on screen. This is achieved by using Relay2 of the Net2 Plus connected to the scanner inputs and creating a trigger and action rule. A new trigger and action is created, selecting the trigger. When a user is denied access through a door, the rule will apply to anyone denied access at the reader. The action will be set to affect a relay, selecting relay 2 of the door and turn it on for 3 seconds. Name the rule and save it. When a user is denied access to the door, the door controller will send feedback to the scanner, allowing a message to be displayed on screen for the user's information.